My name is Peter Kelleher. They call me the Soup Man. I started a nonprofit. I lost the son to opiates. I got that phone call I knew I was going to get, and I buried him. I was either going to drink myself to death, or I was going to find something to do to help people. And this is what I've done in 19 months. This is a three-bay shower. It hooks up to a garden hose and a fire hydrant. Um, this is the brain, I call it. Um, you can use it in the winter as well as summer. It's air conditioned and has heat. Uh, you can hook it up to a fire hydrant or garden hose. It's all gray water. It can go into a sewer. This is my proudest part of the shower. This is my, my son. That, uh, he died in 83. Um, I loved him more than you, you could know. <laughs> That, um, if drugs aren't in your house, they're in the neighbors. And if you don't think so, you're delusional. And uh, this is a uh, this this bay right here is for handicapped. These are some of my sponsors. Uh, there's more to go on it. This would be one of the stalls. That beautiful? Yeah. Same. Right. Has a canopy. We'll have people that are cutting hairs after they take showers. We have a bunch of people that have uh, that has say they will cut hair. This is where the Honda generator is going. Um, Honda Motor Company um, gave me the first generator, and I suspect they're going to give me a generator for every one I buy. Um, they're about four thousand dollars. The generator itself. And, you know, the people that are stepping up to the plate, it's just incredible. Because everybody can look at the, the homeless as they're a nuisance. Well, I look at it a little different than that. A, a whole lot different than that. It's a shame. It's, it's, it's a shame that our veterans, that they're on, living on the streets. Um, we just bought 12 mattresses for a new veterans home um, in Taunton with all the, the sheets and the bed bug sheets and the quilts and the whole nine yards. We had the money to do that. It, it just, I could talk for hours and, and I could be really positive, but the negative shit, that, that just, that, why are our veterans on the streets that, 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 that protected America? I mean, uh, number one, I, I, once again, I don't want to get into politics, but there's so much more we can do. Five dollars at a time. You know, five dollars will buy a pair of gloves, a twenty dollar pair of gloves. Um, what we pay for things is just, it's, it's nuts. The mock-up on stuff should be legal. Um, but, you know, I'm learning more and more as I go. And I take this a lot, you know, personally more and more every day. Um, you know, if you don't want to help me, get out of my way. This is what we're doing. I will have a shower in every major city in New England. One way or another. It's going to happen. We're going to go see the bus. Let's go see the bus. Well, let me ask you really quick. So, 19 months ago... What was it in your head that, that clicked and spurred all this? I had to do something. I was a wreck. I, was, I had a doggy daycare. I was in my backyard, banging my head against the tree pretty much. And I said, I've got to do something to help other people. And I, it's, it's freezing. I said, I'm going to make some soup. I built a soup station for the back of my pickup truck. And I started making 32 quarts of hot Hamburg soup. And out I went. And I did it um, every week for six weeks. And then I asked for help from the public. And, you know, we went out We went out on Christmas and passed out, I think, 250 brown bag lunches in Boston and passed out jackets and boots and scarves and backpacks. The backpacks have about $75 worth of brand new product in it. We don't use, we don't use any new, in the backpacks, we don't use any used product. And there's more we can do to help people. Whether, it, whether it's, you know, whether it's, you know, if you have, everyone has used jackets and, and sweatshirts and boots in their closet they're not wearing send them to me or, or bring them to the homeless shelter by you why be why why hoard them if you're not using them give them to somebody else what i want to do is give this to two nonprofits. Um, we're dealing with the mayor in the brockton seems to be okay with it um, i'm hoping to hand him the keys uh, in the near future and we're hunting for a spot for it um, they'll carry the liability on it. I'll have to have liability on it anyway because we're leasing it. We'll have to carry insurance on it. Um, but it will cut our costs down too. If they, you know, we, we lease it to them for a dollar 
and they're responsible for it. But that also allows us, if they're not taking care of it, then we can pull it back. If it's not being used, we can pull it back. And everyone that I, that I pass out into the public, because there's going to be more. We're looking at a bus full of uh, backpacks, blankets, jackets, boots, toiletries. And this is what we pass out to the homeless. And we go out once a week with the bus, sometimes twice. We'll pick a city or a place and we go. And where have you stopped so far? Where have I? Um, I went up as far as Millinocket, Maine, and I've been into Rhode Island, Massachusetts, um, New Hampshire. Pretty much those are the states that I've worked so far. Billy Lucini took this right off the bus, right off his line, his bus line for us. He used this for, as a school bus. We have you know, backpacks in here for kids uh, with coloring books. We don't see many kids out there, thank God. Um, it's blankets. It's, it's empty, it's really empty now uh, because we were just out with it. Um, we can, this, we've actually taken some stuff out of here to fill um, some backpacks. This, right now we're not do, actually not doing backpacks. We're doing um, strap-on bags that we do toilets with. These are always full, but we needed what we needed. I'm going into Maine with a thousand of them. We took some stuff from here. Sweatshirts, jackets, this was all full. Our last trip out, this was full. Every time we go out, we fill it up. These are the Girl Scout cookies I was telling you about. That the Girl Scouts, uh, they were out selling cookies and I guess they were telling people if they didn't want to buy them, buy them for the soup man. And this is what they got. It's amazing. You have little Girl Scouts helping. The kids in the schools are coloring our bags. It's just such a beautiful thing to bring this awareness out. Um, here's you know the gloves that we pass out. They're all new. Gloves, hats, scarves, toiletries, socks. These are both full of socks. We give them up freely. You know, so there's no red tape with us. Uh, we passed out over seventeen thousand dollars worth of um, backpacks in the last month and a half. We have big plans coming. We're doing toiletries in the summer. We've got another short bus we're putting together. Um, they will do barbecue chicken, not barbecue chicken, but hamburgers and popsicles and uh, hot dogs, passing out toiletry bags um, through New England. Uh, if you could help us, please help us. Uh, www.supportthesoupman.org. That's www.supportthesoupman.org. You know, it takes so little to help, it really does. It's just that simple. People helping people. Check out our Facebook page, Support the Soup Man.